It's in that direction. I'm on Wind Coop. I gotta walk up Wind Coop. This is 18th and Wind Coop, this intersection up here. Gonna pass 18th, 19th, and 20th, and then I'll be there by my ticket. And you see the sign on the post. It says Coors Field this way, very helpful. And then uh, it's a three and a half mile walk to the barbecue restaurant, but I got like five hours until the game starts. So I'm just gonna walk it also. There wasn't a great way via public transportation to get there. Um, I could, with this day pass, take the train. Doesn't, there's not a stop very close to the barbecue spot. So I'm just gonna walk it. All right, so there's the stadium. Those are the lights and the scoreboard. I could kind of see the seats a little bit through the trees and the buildings, but I'm basically here. All right, this is gate E. They told me it's between, the ticket office is between gates D and C. So I guess up these stairs. So it took about eight minutes to get from walking off the train to gate E. So towards the end of the game, I'll make my way towards gate E and leave from there. And uh, to make the nine o'clock, gotta be walking away around 8.50 and it's a 6.10 start. So with the rule changes, should uh, should see the whole game. We'll see. Uh, Branch Ricky, if I'm not mistaken, is the guy who signed Jackie Robinson to the Brooklyn Dodgers. And I'm wearing my Jackie Robinson hat. So how fitting that I'm at a game at Coors Field today. Ticket sales, they said as early as 10 a.m. So I need to get a ticket right now before barbecue. Hi, hey, yeah. can I buy a ticket right now? You sure may. Um, is there anything in like 325, 323? Lower or upper? Um, upper. Okay. They're 27 each. All right, I'll take a 325 okay. section. Two of them? Oh, just one. Oh, just one. Uh, yeah, I can get you row 11. It's just the second row up in that upper deck. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and can it be a uh, paper ticket? For a buck. Oh, that's fine. Twenty bucks. How's your day been going so far? It's pretty good. Thanks. Below. Sure copy and upper 325, 11th row seat 13, game is 610. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Have a good time. Thanks. All right, $27, 28, which seems like a lot for a team that's, that's this bad, but whatever. It's a upper deck, fairly close to behind the plate, but uh, the third level. Row 11, seat 13. Now to get to the barbecue place. So this is the intersection of Blake and 20th. I need to go that way. I'm standing weird. You remember the Friends episode where Joey, they're in London and Joey puts the map on the ground because you need to be like, the map needs to be facing the right way. North on the map has to be north in real life and he steps inside of it. That's a great method. So I need to go northwest on 20th. After that, I need to go right on Osage. After that, cut through Highland Gateway Park, make a left onto 32nd Avenue. Um, 32nd Avenue is gonna curve towards the end, and I go onto Fairview Place. After Fairview, I take a right onto Irving, a left onto 35th, and after that, the directions want me to cut through this like alley between Stewart and Tennyson, and when I get to the Exxon station, cut back to like the actual road Tennyson and then uh, go north and it's 4000 Tennyson is post oak barbecue I've been filming a lot today don't really feel like doing a ton more so I'm gonna put the camera down enjoy the walk and just uh, let you know when I get to the barbecue spot all right so this is the alley the directions Google wanted me to take seems unnecessary Tennyson is right here and there's still a sidewalk so I'm about 0.4 miles it's on Tennyson turn right walk 0.4 miles so I'm gonna tell you about the menu before I show it to you uh, there's a King of Queens where they're at Cooper's sometimes the guys go there just for pool and to watch football sometimes they go as couples and uh, this was one of those times Carrie hands Heffernan a menu and he goes I come knowing what I want so I do that a lot also 
I uh, probably gonna get half a pound of the pork belly. Um, you could buy any number of sausages and ribs you want. So I'm thinking maybe two ribs, one sausage, and there were three sides. I actually can't remember the third. One is bacon and jalapeno mac and cheese. One is mashed potatoes. Don't remember the third. It'll hit me when I see the menu. And a question for everyone. If I told you I was going to eat roasted potatoes, what would that mean to you? Would it mean cooked in the oven or cooked on a flat top? Because when I say it, I mean a pan, but it could also mean like a flat top at a diner or if you had something for your barbecue so that they wouldn't fall through the grates. But I was talking to someone who said it means in the oven. I mean, in the oven, I would call it baked. Uh, that's what a baked potato is, a potato in the oven. So let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, that's about it. I'll show you the food after I get there and order it and it arrives. Um, it's only been about an hour, walking a little faster than I thought. So I have uh, plenty of time. An hour to get here, it'll be around 2.10, 2.15, 2.20. Eat on the way back. I'll uh, probably catch batting practice. And uh, the gate might not even be open by the time I get back. We'll see, but definitely wasn't uh, too far. Enjoyed the walk overcast and uh, cool. So nice conditions for a walk. I enjoyed it. Next thing you see will be the meats. All right, here it is. Mac and cheese, mash, chili, chips. I didn't order chips. One rib, two sausages, half a pound of pork belly. I'm going to go to town, then head back to the stadium. Do you think I liked it? It's all gone. All right, this will probably wrap up this uh, video in the mini series. Uh, everything about the food, that was very good. The rib, singular, was a little dry. Um, the sausage was good. I wouldn't like be dying to get it again, but it was good. The pork belly was amazing. It looked dry, it was not. And that was probably the best bark I ever had on pork belly. I didn't even know people go for a bark on pork belly. I know in brisket and like uh, prime rib, you go for a good bark. I didn't know you do that on pork belly. It was amazing. Uh, the brisket, very good also. You know, in as much as I like Texas Day Brazil, and they always have lobster bisque. It's not like real lobster bisque, it's just liquid. There's no bits of lobster in there, like there should be. Oh, this brisket chili had some like pulled brisket and just some big chunks of brisket. Um, the mac and cheese, jalapeno and bacon. Uh, bacon kind of got lost in there. Could definitely taste the jalapeno. And uh, the mashed potatoes on their own, probably like average. That was an interesting gravy, different color than I expected, uh, and it was very good also. Also, um, that was very close to a natural grocer's. I love natural grocer's. They had them in Nebraska. I went all the time when I lived in Lincoln. They don't have them now in New York. I mean, they never had them in New York and Vegas. I can't go anymore. They still send me emails. I look at the deals just for fun because I like it so much. So I went in there just to check the egg prices because all two and a half years I lived in Nebraska, it was uh, $2.00. Only organic products in there. Like half the store is food, half is like hygiene products, but everything's organic. And uh, as this truck slowly gets in, it's blocking my way on the sidewalk kind of. Um, everything's organic and eggs were $2 a carton for as long as I lived there. So I wanted to check the prices that eggs really went up. Um, $3.50 now, not bad. I wonder what they were at like the height back in like January when egg prices were really, really high. But anyway, the point is I was in there and just checking the egg prices, but then, even though you could find this elsewhere, I got a venison stick. It's in my pocket. This. Grass-fed venison. Ingredients are very good. Here's what it actually looks like. It's uh, kind of like venison, kind of like Slim Jim, but not like weird ingredients. No one knows what it is, like actual food, and it's deer. So, I bought just this, and because I'm still a member, even though I haven't gone in years. I could just type my uh, phone number in when I get to the register, which I did, even though I knew there would be no discount on the venison. Apparently, there's a deal today. Everyone who's a member who buys anything gets a chocolate bar. So I got this organic 70% dark chocolate, mint three ounce chocolate bar for free. So that was cool. So I'm walking back to the stadium and uh, should be able to see batting practice. It didn't take as long as I thought to walk there and back. And uh, that's it. Next video is uh, the game. See everyone at the game. And remember, mac and cheese is a spoon food.